Hello everyone and welcome to my channel MI Tutorials. In your Power BI reports, you would have added last refresh date visual to your reports to let the user know when the report was last updated. However, when you publish the report to the Power BI service, you would have noticed that there is a difference in time. The reason for the change in time is because when you create the last refresh date, it is based on your time zone which you are in. Let's say for example, I am in India and Right now the time is about 2.49 p.m. But when I publish the report to Power BI service, it calculates that or it changes that to UTC time zone. So I have created two visuals over here. This visual here is created using the now function and it is giving me the current time. And this visual over here is created using the UTC now function, meaning that I want the time for the UTC time zone. And in UTC time zone right now it is 9.19 a.m. And when I publish this particular report to Power BI service, let's see what happens. So let's jump to Power BI service now. So when I look at this particular report which is published to Power BI service, we can see that both of these visuals have the same time but India time right now was 50 minutes past 2 but over here it is showing me 921 which means that the any time zone that you are in when you publish it to Power BI service it changes to the UTC time zone and it is exactly what we have over here in the UTC time zone. So how do we change that so that it remains the same. So let's see how we can do that and let's get started with this tutorial. There is a website here called as worldtimeapi.org. This website has a few APIs which we can use to get the time zone. For example, let's copy this particular link over here and head to Power BI. Let's go to get data and select web as the data source and let's paste the link that we just copied over here and click on OK. This will return all the time zones that are there in that particular website. So these are the time zones, the region and the country. So let's say we want to know what is the time in New York. So let's type in New York over here. Let I've got over here it is America slash new underscore York, right? So let's keep that in mind and let's go back to the website over here. And if you scroll down a bit, you will see this particular link over here and wherein you have Europe slash London dot txt. Let's copy this back till time zone slash. Let's copy this and head back to BI. Let's go back to new source and click on web as the data source and paste this particular link over here. And over here, let's type in America slash new underscore yard. So I'm going to click on OK here and this will return me a table with a lot of columns over here. I have like date time over here. I have day of the week day of the year and some other details over here. Right now I'm currently interested only in the date time column and I also want to uh, keep the time zone over here. So I'm going to select these two columns and then right click and I'm going to say remove other columns because I don't need them and then I'm going to click on close and apply. So once this particular table is loaded over here, I will have a new table in my report called as New York over here with a date time function. Let me just copy paste this particular visual over here and add this date time over here and change this to New York time. All right. So this is now the New York time. This is my UTC time and this is the India time as of now. So let's publish this particular report to service and see if it is working fine. Now I have published the report to service. It's now time to refresh and see if it is working fine. So let me just refresh this particular link over here. And now you will see that New York time has been added and has not changed the time over here to UTC like we saw what happened with India time. So this is how you can change the time zones in your last refresh date visual in your Power BI. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.